Round one of the NFL draft is in the books, and whether it was through picks that were made or blockbuster trades that went down, several teams just might have set the foundation for their futures on Thursday night. However, there were four teams who seemed to emerge as the biggest winners from the first round. Beginning with the New York Jets and the New York Giants, thanks in large part to both owning multiple picks inside the top 10, along with the Philadelphia Eagles after a mega blockbuster trade, and the Baltimore Ravens, who stuck to form, were the biggest winners of the NFL draft so far. Starting with the Jets, who came away with Sauce Gardner, one of the top two cornerbacks in this class, who's not just a legitimate ball hawk, but the kind of player who can now anchor their secondary, and later adding playmaking wide receiver Garrett Wilson, viewed by many inside the NFL as one of the top two players at the position, and eventually tabbing pass rusher Jermaine Johnson, this is the kind of draft that can really elevate Joe Douglas's Jets. In North Jersey, there's no doubt in my mind they're already printing up t-shirts that say Wilson to Wilson in honor of their new quarterback to wide receiver duo preparing to take flight. Meanwhile, the Jets Garden State neighbors, the New York Giants, couldn't have gotten this draft nor the Joe Shane and Brian Dable era off to a better start. By allowing the board to come to them, the Giants scooped up Oregon edge rusher Kayvon Thibodeau at number five overall, and at one point, Thibodeau was widely viewed inside the league as the best player in this year's draft. Thursday night, one NFC executive told me that Thibodeau is, quote, the best pure pass rusher in this class. Two picks later, fortuitously, the Giants were able to land Evan Neal, widely viewed inside the league as the top offensive tackle in this class. The Giants now compare Alabama's Evan Neal, opposite former Georgia standout Andrew Thomas, as their bookend tackles, finally jumpstarting an offensive line rebuild that could really turbocharge this offense that struggled for the past several years. However, just down the turnpike in Philadelphia, not to be outdone, Howie Roseman and the Philadelphia Eagles stuck true to character by acting boldly and aggressively to trade up to select defensive tackle Jordan Davis, who's a real space eater in the middle of the defensive line. Davis's presence should create opportunities for Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave to get after the quarterback. But that's not what makes the Eagles the biggest winners of the night, though. That would be the blockbuster trade for superstar wide receiver A.J. Brown from the Tennessee Titans. Brown, of course, has averaged eight touchdown catches per season in his career, and he's a dynamic weapon to drop into the Eagles' offense around quarterback Jalen Hurts. Philadelphia is certainly setting Hurts up to succeed this year, while keeping their options open at quarterback via a pair of first-round picks in 2023. Finally, the Baltimore Ravens continue to dominate the NFL draft as they have year after year after year, this year adding Notre Dame safety Kyle Hamilton and later rounding back to pick up Tyler Linderbaum, the center out of Iowa. Both of these players were at one point viewed as the number one player at their position, potential top 10 picks, and potential pro bowlers in the making. Dropping Linderbaum and Hamilton into this roster that's capable of competing immediately, the Ravens really boosted their chances to make a run at the Super Bowl this season. There are plenty of players yet to be chosen, but after the first round, the Giants, Jets, Eagles, and Ravens were easily the biggest winners of round one.